Hi, welcome to blog.lab6.org. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can move your local host WordPress installation to your server or live server. So the first step is you need to have your domain and host. So check out my other tutorial about how to have a minimum cost of WordPress if you are interested on this matter. And for this demo, I'm going to move all of my uh, one of my local host installation to this domain. So wphowtosite.com. So the first step is you go to your cPanel. So this is the cPanel, my cPanel. And the next step is we're going to create new database. So scroll down until you see database. So create on my SQL databases. Click on that icon. And here we're going to create new database. So I'm going to name it my DB and then some number here. Create database. Go back. So the next step is we're going to create a new user. So in the add new user sections, we need to type in on new username. So mine would be kimivet6 underscore um, y, or uh, I just type in this, so yrusr6. And then the password, I'm going to choose to uh, use password generator again. And I'm going to put some uh, generate password and I'm going to uh, copy this and paste it in my text editor here and um, add some character like um, some character and some and copy this and then um, hit cancel and we use this password and make sure that it says very strong try to have, fu uh, to have full strong so very strong and then hit on create user button and hit go back now that we have user created, we need to add that user to this database. So here in add user to database sections, we need to select the user that we've just created and then uh, add the database that we've just created as well and then click on add button. Here we need to check on all privileges and hit make changes button and then hit go back. And make sure that your database has the user that we've just created. Once you, uh, once we're done, we need to click on home button on the top. Okay. So the next, um, just put it no thanks button. Next is we need to go to our localhost installation. So I'm using this, and then log into your dashboard. And some stuff you need to know is the uh, themes that you are using. So go to appearance and themes. And here you see that your uh, active theme is called my 24 theme. And the next thing we need to know is the settings and then uh, permalinks. Here you need to know what kind of permalink you have here. So once you know these two things, we need to go to uh, mem homepage. So we go to localhost, type in localhost, if I can type, and then slash and then mem with capital letters and hit enter. So once you are in mem page, we go to PHP my admin. Now you might have just one database, that's easy, but if you have more databases like what I have now, what you need to do is you go to localhost installation of your uh, WordPress blog. So go to your finder and then go to application and then mem and then HD docs and see which folder you have your current wood localhost uh, blog that you need to move. Mine is it's, it's on blog web 6 move. So click that folder and then go to wp-config.php and open that with your preferred text editor. I will open it with my uh, sublime text. Here you're going to see the name of the database for this uh, current WordPress blog. Mine is called blog web 6 move. So it, once you know what kind of database you have, which this is, then you're going to close that and then here in PHP my admin you're going to select the database that we've just take a look the name so blog web 6 move select that and make sure that on the top next to localhost is the database that you have currently is the correct database for the one that we just want to move once you are sure about that click on check all and then with selected hit export and you can export uh, with two methods, but I use now a quick method. But the most important is that the format. Make sure that it is on SQL and then hit go. 
Once you hit go, some of the time it will download your SQL and then take a look where you download it. But uh, many times it's also showing you this and it prompts you to copy the, all of the content. So I'm going to copy this. So if you are using Mac, just hold, uh, click hit on Command and A to select all of the content. And then to copy it, Command and C to copy it. And then open your text editor again and paste it here. And then we go to, we go to File and save as. Now, uh, depends on where you want to save it. I want to save it in my desktop for this tutorial. And then going to uh, name it as blog web 6 um, move. So you can name it as anything you like, but I want just to have a best practice. I want to name it as the same as in localhost installation. Uh, blog web 6 move dot SQL. and then hit save. Make sure that the name is .sql here. So if you are not sure, go to your desktop again and make sure that it's the format is .sql. Okay, so let's close the text editor. So once you've done that, to have a best practice, you're going to duplicate, duplicate this, sorry. Duplicate this and then uh, name it as blog uh, web 6 move and then underscore orange this mean from original so we will not touch this original SQL file what we, what we will uh, touch is this SQL uh, which is not original once we do that uh, we select this file and open with your preferred text editor mine I want to open it with sublime text so once you have it open you are going to uh, find here Click on find and then uh, find and type in in this uh, URL or in this box I mean you're going to type in site and it will show you site URL if not you can to type in site URL and you have site URL line here what we need is that the site URL here and uh, between the quotes so copy this copy and then go to find and then replace click on that and then you're going to find what? So we're going to find this. So make sure that you are uh, using the same which is inside the code here. And then replace with, we're going to paste that here again. And we're going back to our browser where you want to move your site, in which domain. Mine, I will paste it, I will um, move it here. So I'm going to copy this and go back to our text editor again. And then inside the replace with box, going to paste this and make sure if here no spa uh, no slash you also don't have slash here for our new site so make sure this is the same if with slash then with slash if not with sla if without slash then without slash once you saw that it's uh, the same you're going to click on replace all so make sure that it's updated here and once you are sure you're going to hit save or go to file and save so when it's save close your text editor and then we go back to our um, cpanel so now uh, the next step is we're going to move all of the files that we have in uh, inside our fault lo uh, localhost installation here in cpanel so next is we go to files and then go to file manager and make sure that the document root for is checked and then you choose on your domain which you want to move your local installation. Now I'm selecting the right domain and domain and then hit go. So here make sure that you are under public underscore HTML path and then here we're going to uh, move the folders. So now we go to finder and in application and mem and add the docs and the folder that we have here, so as you can see, this is blog web 6 move. This is the whole um, stuff that I want to move. So select all of this file and right click it and you want to compress 19 items here. So compress it. So when it's done, you should have archive.zip. So I'm going to rename it as wp.zip. Um, so once I rename it because I know what it is and then you go back to your cPanel again and then here on cPanel click on upload and then choose files and then go to your um, 
application at the docs. So here inside this folder, we're going to upload zip file here and then open. So when it says on the uh, right bottom of your browser, it says complete, you can then click this link. Now you should see the .zip file that we've just uploaded. If you don't, then just click on reload button here. And then we select this, that wb.zip file and then extract. And then going to extract files and close it. Now we delete that uh, Mac OS X because the, just, we just don't need that. And then uh, delete this. The important is that delete this wb.zip file that we've just uploaded. Delete that. So now that we have our files here, the next step is we're going to import the database. So go back to your uh, cPanel home again. So here we're going to scroll down and find phpMyAdmin. So under the databases and phpMyAdmin, click on that icon. So here, maybe you will have another databases. So to be safe, go to databases tab on the top and because I just have one database, so I'm just going to select this new database and click that and you will see this uh, import, uh, this empty stuff here. So what you're going to do is import database and here in choose file, going to click that and then go to your desktop where you save your .sql file. We don't choose the original because that we don't touch. So we choose on SQL here and then hit open. Now we hit go button. Worth mentioning here that I've already uh, import a lot of databases and there are some errors and stuff. So, um, but I'm not going to show in this video because this will be confusing and, and maybe it will be um, long. So as you can see now, we have successfully imported our file. The next is we go to our cPanel again. So in this uh, public underscore HTML folder, and then we need to select that WP dash config dot php and then hit on code editor. So here on the database name, we're going to replace this database name with this um, our database. So we just copy this, the new database name, paste it here. Okay, make sure that you paste the right thing without any other quotes or something like that and hit save changes. So once we've done that, um, so we can now close the this tab and then go to our wphowtosite.com, the new domain, refresh that and we forgot something. We forgot uh, to edit something. So um, select that wp-config and then go to editor again. And here we need to uh, database user and password. So we go back to our um, cPanel again where it says MySQL databases. So go to MySQL databases. And here the databases, we just uh, we have it already. So go to the user, copy the user, go back to file editor again and username. We paste it here, username, and then the password that we just copied in our text editor. Here again, password, and then hit save changes. Now if we go back to our site again, and as you can see, it is the same thing as we have uh, earlier. So uh, go to localhost again. And as you can see, we have the same images here also, same images. So let's click one of our posts. And um, you should you should have something like this. If you have something like this, don't worry about that. We're just going to log into our site again. And the password, the password should be the same as your local host. So going to type the password. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, you need to take a look at your permalink. So in this case, we go to our settings and then go to permalinks. And make sure that your permalink is the same permalink that we have on our local host here. You see, I'm now on my local host and this is the post name. Make sure that the post name is uh, the same and then hit save changes. Now, if we go back to our site again and click on one of our posts, it will show you no error.
So as you can see, it's exactly the same as you have in our, your local host. Now, there are some troubleshooting uh, fixes here, for example, like importing databases error, or if your databases are too huge uh, just to import inside phpMyAdmin, there are many ways to do that. So, uh, But I'm not going to show you in this uh, tutorial just next time, so feel free to subscribe if you like, and please like this video if it, it was helpful for you, and thank you so much for watching. So. Take care of yourself and see you in the next video. Goodbye.